Hello guys and welcome back to our kind of family channel where we talk all things intentional living. So on today's episode, I want to chat to you guys a little bit about all the snake drama we've had here in our new home um, and a little bit about snake education and snake awareness. So if you are scared of snakes, you want to watch this episode and hopefully by the end of it, you would have learned something about our little slithery friends. <laughs> Some of you guys might be aware that we recently moved a little bit out of the city because we just wanted to live a bit of a slower lifestyle. But as it turns out, there's a whole lot more that this farm lifestyle comes with, including snakes. Yep. So guys, we've been here for like less than three months. And in that time, we've like had five snake encounters. Okay. One, um, the first time the kids saw it, right? We weren't there. I mean, auntie was here, we weren't here, so we didn't see it. When we got back home, um, we asked one of the um, guys who works here in the farm to come and take a look. They couldn't find it. Um, so that was that. Um, second day, we all saw it. I mean, we were all home, we saw it. And um, we called the snake catchers. Um, and I mean, they took so long. Um, they just asked us to watch the snake, to just, you know. <laughs> So we sat there guys for like about two hours babysitting a snake, you know, just all kind of sitting around where it was just so it doesn't, you know, just to watch it, to watch its movement. But anyway, um, we didn't do a good job of babysitting the snake and by the time the snake catchers came, um, it, it was gone. It wasn't there anymore. So that was number two. Um, number three, guys, I was just walking around the yard and then I see the snake. Um, I thought it was dead right so there i am taking photos of the snake um and all of that and then i think that night i started doing some snake um research right um just learning a little bit more about you know snakes what to do and all that stuff and what did i learn that um well one of the things that i actually learned was that when they are scared they actually pretend that they are dead you know so um when, the, when I woke up the following morning, I actually went to go see if the snake was dead or if it was really like playing, um, if it was alive, sorry, or if it was really playing dead. And guys, the snake, <laughs> there was no snake. There was no snake the following morning. So I was so freaked out by that, you know, so that was like, I was there, guys, like I was there, like over the snake, you know, taking photos and stuff. And I mean, at any moment, that snake could have just like, you know, done a thing. <laughs> yeah that that was freaky um and i mean um i managed to send um that photo of that snake to you know um snake people you know there are people who specialize in snakes and stuff guys now i have their contacts hey that's life hey <laughs> but anyway they identified it as a um night adder um and i mean it's one of the dangerous snakes it is it's not deadly um it is um dangerous as in it's venomous so i mean if it, it if it bites you um you won't die but you'll definitely go to hospital and you will definitely not have a nice day <laughs> so so that was um number three right um okay the fourth time it was a cute little baby but this cute little baby was outside our bedroom door right um yeah so that freaked me out <laughs> because i was just like oh my gosh oh my gosh it's a baby i mean it didn't look harmless i mean sorry it looked harmless but i was just like okay if it's a baby it means there's a mom and there's a dad and maybe siblings and stuff around so oh my gosh where are they where are they anyway um um but i guess the more i learned i mean uh, what's been helpful with in all our snake um education um over the past you know two weeks or so um one thing that i learned is that snakes or that one thing that we learned together with the kids is that you know snakes don't necessarily look after the young so they give birth and you know they uh, the young um you know go go their own separate ways ways basically so when you see a baby snake um it doesn't necessarily mean that the mother or the family is around so now you know, now you know. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, and then the fifth <laughs> encounter was just yesterday. My husband saw um, the snake actually like just behind. He said just around the hammock. So, so yeah, but of course I'm not freaked out because this thing, I mean, this yard is huge. And the snake, um, I think four out of the five occasions, it, it I think it is it, it it has been like a similar kind of snake so it might be 
the same snake that we've seen um, and if it is it just means that it lives here this is its hood this is its home it's my fifth child <laughs> So after all these encounters, I thought it was a great opportunity for us to incorporate all of this into our homeschooling lessons um, because one, it was something that's relevant to them, to their lives right now and also because I wanted um, all of us to just be more knowledgeable about, you know, snakes if we are realistically sharing a home with, this, <laughs> with them now. So um, for the past two weeks, we've been doing um, a science unit on amphibians, reptiles and fish um, and I got it from the good and the beautiful for about $20. Um, I really love the good and the beautiful science units. Um, one, I find them very comprehensive. I mean, this can also depend on your children's ages, but for me, um, they're perfect for my older two who, who are eight and 10 years old. Um, the six year old, he gets and he grasps like um, at least half, like over half, I'd say maybe 60 to 70 percent um, of the work. And then the four year old just comes along for the ride, although um, she does surprise me, you know, sometimes with, you know, with um, just, you know, the knowledge that she's um, she's picking up. So like I was saying, very comprehensive um, because I'm an eclectic homeschooler. I find that, you know, sometimes when I am putting together like resources to study like a certain um you know topic you know sometimes i find myself having to go to like you know different you know places or putting together like a variety of um um of resources just to cover like all the different angles whereas with the good and the beautiful i find that um a lot of the times hey when get away um a lot of the times um most uh, like it covers you know pretty much every angle um you know of the of the of the unit of the subject you see this fly disturbed me so too i love them because they are fun i hate with a passion like doing stuff or resources that are like just boring or dull i love the good and the beautiful because they are really um you know fun and interactive um so you know there'll be a lot of like good um you know like i was saying in the previous point comprehensive you know stuff you know reading material facts and things like that but they also incorporate um you know great videos that they that they have and that they put together um they've got like fun you know activities for the kids to you know to do um and then they also have you know they also incorporate Incorporate games, um, you know, into their learning activity. That's so that's really great. Three, I love them because they are affordable. Now I know affordability is relative, but like I said, it cost us twenty dollars for for the entire unit. Um, and granted, it's a PDF. We still had to print it, but still, I thought that was really affordable. Um, the whole unit is about um, sorry, a hundred um, pages. Uh, so it should take us a good month, you know, to complete. So that's really like a good deal, hey. Okay, so we've been doing the lessons from the good and the beautiful and this past weekend we attended a Hello Hosi <laughs> We attended um, a workshop hosted by the African Snake Bite Institute and here's what we got up to Hey guys, so we're here for the snake awareness course um, Say hello everybody <laughs> So the whole idea, I guess, is just for the kids to be um, more aware of snakes, learn a little bit more about them as we've been doing throughout this week, and um, just for them to know, I guess, what to do when they encounter snakes. So yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> It was such an insightful workshop. It was just great because all the knowledge we'd gained in the week was now coming alive. And it wasn't just us reading from a book or watching a video, but the knowledge was demonstrated live and by a very passionate and knowledgeable professional. That was cool. And then the kids got to interact with the animals for the entire morning and not just with different kinds of snakes, but like a variety of reptiles as well that we're actually also learning about. That was cool too. got a chance to buy some more books and toys for the kids. Happiness all around. So what 
I've learned, I think, from this experience is um, one, uh, I think I just got to appreciate that, you know, every animal um, on earth has a place in creation, you know, um, whether you know it or not, whether we understand it or not, um, you know, every creature that has been created is beautiful and um, has its place. And I think that, you know, the more we get to learn about, you know, animals or or whatever in nature, the more you get to actually appreciate, um, you know, their place. Number two, I think I've realized that our fears can be irrational when we don't have um, the right information or when we don't have information. So I've grown up just knowing and understanding that, you know, snakes are dangerous. You know, you see them, you like, you kill them, basically. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, um, now I know so much more, um, you know, about snakes. I know that, you know, in the world, out of all the 3,000 species of uh, snakes, only about 10% of them are venomous, you know. So not every snake that you see around, you know, um, is dangerous. And, I mean, I've got to hold a python around, you know, my neck. And I have always, you know, um, equated the word python to danger, deadly. And they're not even poisonous. You know, they're not venomous, they're not dangerous. Um, and then I think the third thing, um, also related to the second, I mean, so to the second point, is that knowledge is power. You know, now I know what to do when I encounter, you know, a snake. I know a bit more about snakes. I know, um, you know, that, you know, snakes don't strike, don't come looking for people to bite. You know, they strike when they are when they feel threatened, when they feel, you know, afraid or when they're defending themselves. So, I mean, if I were to see a snake, now I know what to do with them. Um, with them. And I actually want to do a snake handling course now so that, you know, if we come across a snake again, which we probably will sometime soon, if not in five minutes time. <laughs> Um, if the snake comes like into our house, um, you know, I'm able to handle it to, to you know, to take it away um, and, and take it somewhere else. So, yeah, that is it from me. And that concludes our episode for today. Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, and I hope uh, if you're one of those people that were previously scared of snakes or one of those people that are scared of snakes that, you know, you have a little bit more information. And I'm happy to share, you know, the resources, links of um, um, where I bought um, the, you know, my science units, uh, the link to uh, African Snake Bite Institute. They do these courses for children and for adults as well. Actually, I'm just going to drop them into um, on the description. But if you have any more information that you're looking for, please feel free to um dm me the best way to actually get a hold of me is via you know our instagram um inbox so please do um send me messages um you know on there but please guys i'd love for it if you just comment um and and let me know what you guys you know what you guys think have you had snake experiences um you know are you are you thinking of you know um you know going on the same journey of like learning about snakes or even going to the workshop um anything yeah i always love to hear um a little bit you know uh from you guys um and as well i'd really appreciate it if you guys could um, share, uh, share the information, sharing is caring, share the information with anyone else, whether it's homeschoolers, whether it is, you know, other parents or other people who have encountered snakes, or other people who live <laughs> out in farms, um, anyone, anyone else that you think um, this information could be useful um, to. Um, yeah, that is it from me. Ah, until next time. <laughs>